Yeah, I'm Simon Peter Rugera, and uh, I'm head department of Medical Lab Science at Mbara Universal Science and Technology. Medical Lab Science is a discipline that is responsible for disease diagnosis through laboratory procedures. And uh, these laboratory procedures are done in school, and we at Mbara University in the Department of Medical Lab Sciences have been engaging in this. Uh, in this field for quite a time since 2001 and we are able to produce enough medical laboratory scientists for the country. We do this to be able to bring up uh, uh, the clinical diagnosis element in our hospitals, in our research institutions, in our, in our you know, different, uh, different uh, establishments that uh, require either water testing or you know so we have done this to produce the best in the country and uh, in the region uh, we have dedicated staffing of about 20 people who are able to you know nurture our students in uh, not only in teaching but also in research we have uh, innovated different programs as we talk we have two bachelor's programs one that takes on uh, students to to write from senior seats to engage in a four-year program but also we have a program that we innovated that uh, caters for those who never went to university and branched off at Proma level and were able to were able to craft a, a, a curriculum that brings up these people to do a degree program at Mbara University but uh, then we also said if we produce uh, you know uh, degree holders only first degree, holder, degree holders what happens we looked at their advancement their career growth and we innovated uh, master's programs right now we have a master's program that has two i mean five uh, arms and these are specialties that uh, these are specialties that uh, help now to augment uh, the, 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 the bringing up or the coming up of uh, people who will now be able to now do the improved diagnosis but also do research and also teach. So the five programs are majorly uh, Master of Medical Laboratory Science Microbiology, Medical Laboratory Science uh, Clinical Chemistry, Medical Laboratory Science uh, Hematology and Blood Transfusion, Medical Laboratory Science Clinical, uh, clinical Histopathology and uh, uh, and diagnostic cytology and the uh, medical laboratory science in uh, parasitology and pneumology. All of these are geared to really improve the laboratory uh, diagnosis in the country, but also we produce not only for the country, but for the wider world. Uh, during this uh, engagement, we partner with different people. We do partner with uh, Harvard through Massachusetts General Hospital. We have an understanding, we have a minimum of understanding, and we have been doing this for about four or five years. We also partner with the different institutions in the country. We partner with Murago Teaching Hospital, Uganda Cancer Institute, Uganda Virus Research Institute, not only for training, but also to partner with them in respect to writing grants and research. Um, and then within the undergraduate program, what moves our niche as a university is research and our undergraduate program is you know, crafted in such a way that students have to do research, but not only do research, but also publish. And every year we endeavor, just from the undergraduate program alone, we endeavor to you know, have, uh, have at least five, five manuscripts written and published. So we, 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 we endeavor to be the best, not only within Uganda, but in the region. We have recently won a, a grant that trains foreign students to come and do a master's program. And this fund is funded through Inter-University Council of Eastern Africa uh, with the funding from the German Development Bank. And we attract at least two students every year to do this program through that funding. We are trying to proactively you know, initiate other grants. Some of our staff are actually, in, you know, part of the teams that have won grants at MAST, like uh, the um, MUSI grant that we won recently. 
And, uh, and therefore, we, we as a department have really tried to make sure that uh, our, our, you know, our vision and mission as a department, which fits in, of course, with the vision of the faculty and the vision of the university, are uh, attended to. We have tried our best to ensure that we produce the best uh, graduates in the region, and uh, this is attested by the fact that even before our students graduate, already people are trying to source for them. So that shows to you that we produce the best in the region. And uh, we would wish that uh, for all students that need to apply to any program that is medical lab science, to apply to Mbarara University because we feel we are the best, and indeed we are, and uh, for now and for the future. Uh, as, a, as a department, we have uh, really uh, participated very actively in the, the COVID-19 uh, period, and uh, the actions were basically as a department, we have staff and we engage with the teaching hospital, and the teaching hospital has been uh, doing you know, COVID-19 screening, and uh, of course COVID-19 surveillance, and all our technical staff have been engaged and proactively engaged to, to that. We have also um, prepared our mass clinical and research laboratory to do engaging in the, I mean engagement in screening of COVID by the latest PCR technology. We are ready now. We, the, the, this period that uh, especially the second wave made us prepare very well to do this screening based on the needs for the country. We are, we are tight. But of course, um, uh, there, there were many opportunities that uh, we looked at uh, during this uh, COVID screening. One key opportunity is that uh, as must, we were able to you know, engage in improving uh, our teaching methodologies, particularly key among those is the teaching online. Uh, I think we are teach, uh, if you ask any student, he will say no, they have not missed any lecture because of that. Of course, the other opportunity, which is important and key, is the fact that you know we were able to teach big numbers without uh, scrambling for room, so that one helped us. Uh, of course, uh, as the, as programs uh, which are practical in nature and which uh, appreciate a one-on-one, -on -one, we were hampered with the fact that we could not easily conduct our practicals, and uh, and this greatly affected us. But we have attended to this by making sure that. Uh, our students were called back. We encourage them to, you know, to vaccinate. Our staff are already vaccinated. I think over 95 percent. So we are able to call all students back, and we have been handling practicals very well. And and so the other challenge that seemed a challenge is no longer a challenge because we are able to bridge up what we missed during this period when the students were away and they were online. So we 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 are we are moving, and and we hope in the near future. Uh, we, we are ready as a department to fully participate in COVID screening using the latest technology of PCR, but as well as continue supporting the teaching hospital. This way we feel uh, we shall, you know, have, uh, you know, hit, I mean, uh, contributed our best to this uh, COVID pandemic. Our students are groomed in research at undergraduate level, and uh, when we do research, we encourage ourselves to publish and at least from the undergraduate research alone we're able to publish on a yearly basis uh, five manuscripts in the referred journals and uh, and uh, our work speaks for itself because it is in the public domain and uh, as i conclude i wish to inform the general public and the, all of you there that uh, we offer the best training in medical lab sciences we are to must succeed as our motto says, and therefore I call on you to come to this one of the prestigious universities in Africa in respect to science training, but importantly, medical science training. Succeed, we must.